Now, welcome back everybody to the channel. In today's video, it is time to visit an old friend of ours. Yes, Simple Planes Flight Simulator. The interesting flight simulator where you can build your own planes and fly them and crash them and everything like that. Yeah, really, Simple Planes is such a classic of, of games here on Steam. I mean, look at the ratings here. Especially recently, the reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. I've never seen a game that is overwhelmingly positive. And although it came out like six Six, six, oh my god, six years ago already, Jesus Christ. It is still being updated very, very much right now. I mean, it's still getting stuff with brand new features here that you can build in your plane creations, right? For example, they very recently came up here with this interesting update that literally added, as you can see right here, live uh, cockpits and actually interactable cockpits to this custom flight somewhere. Jesus Christ. All right, let's try this. Well, first of all, we can, you know, download planes, you know, create from other people as well so maybe that's actually a smart idea before we jump into creating our own airplane for example here's the Grumman F-14 let's try this one out this looks really really good from the outside and you know considering that this was all built here I guess by hand here in this thing I mean we can still customize it here okay we've just moved out this part whatever that does okay whatever let's just go ahead and actually press play and oh all right welcome to this island here yeah so if you guys have ever played this simple planes flight simulator you might remember this interesting island here with this airport on it it's pretty much the only map i think that's included damn some memories are definitely coming back here i mean i haven't played this game on the channel here for like three years or something like that so let's go ahead and do this again i'm flying now with this xbox controller let's go come on full power that doesn't work. Yes, all right, here we go. 30% of power, 100% of power. Oh, damn, we can even see some afterburners here. All right, F-14 coming up. And yes, really, again, this is a plane that has been built by hand, all right? And you guys will, we'll, you know, we'll build our own plane later on. We can very much see then how hard it is to actually build a plane like this. Jesus Christ. And yes, if we can check this out here, actually, all of those switches work. What the hell? Damn, this flight has, has come quite a way ever since we last reviewed it. Jeez, look at that. We can, we can change stuff and everything. We can do this. ATT, I don't know what any of this does, by the way, but, you know, just pressing it. By the way, not crash. Oh, Jesus Christ. What I can say is that the stability of this aeroplane is quite compromised ever since I removed this weird thing, whatever I, that was. Jesus Christ, look, look, when I let go of the controls, this happens. Maybe it wasn't all too smart to do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and actually come in for a bit of a landing right here. You know, we have this interesting airfield on this other island down here. Let's maybe go ahead and land there. And after that, let's build our own airplane. Uh, oh my god. That's not gone very well, sorry. By the way, let's get rid of the damn music. Jesus Christ. Shut up! Alright then, but let's maybe do it like the old time. Let's go ahead and build our own plane right here. Let's go ahead and just actually, you know what, create a new one. Create a new aircraft, and here we go. Here now, from scratch, we only have this cockpit added in. We can build our own plane now. now this should be fairly simple. Now, we're going to start off with a bit of a fuselage right here. Block. This is fairly simple to build, as you can see. Looks quite nice. Now, it's time to add, of course, a wing surface. Wings. Um, um, yeah, let's add a primary wing here on the right side. Looking good. Another one here on the left side. Looking good. Let's also add some structure here for the tail wing, I guess. This is going to be interesting. Both this fly. I don't know. All right, let's just add some tail wings right here. Um, vertical stabilizer. That looks good. Horizontal stabilizer. That looks good as well. You know what? This look like, actually does look like a plane now, doesn't it? Yes. Welcome back to Plane Manufacturer 001. Okay, let's add a nose cone right here. And let's <clears throat> get some propulsion in here. Maybe a bit of an uh, engine. Uh, which engine should we go for? This one? I guess that fits well. Maybe a little bit big. This will be great. Now, in order to actually power these two pretty big jet engines, let's also add a little bit of a fuel tank right here. Probably the people that, you know, play this simulator a bit often are, you know, cringing out quite a bit right now because I'm such a noob at doing this, right? Okay, here we go. Oh, no, I think this is fine. Now, let's add some landing gear and I guess this thing will fly, right? Will that make sense? Here we go, just some landing gear. And, uh, all right, so... Let's go. We have now played the landing gear here. I think this is going to go very well. Let's maybe do a little bit of a test flight. In theory, this should fly, right? I mean, we've got all the stuff that this plane needs to fly, after all. You know, some nice in in engines. Let's see if they actually do work. Yes, they work. We've got good control services right here. Let's see. Yep, they work as well. And here we go. This wasn't even that hard, was it? Okay, the plane flies very very badly but it flies you know yes everybody what should we call this aeroplane 
The Swiss 011. That's a good name, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I mean, seriously, this is a simplified version of a plane. Did you notice know, that? Like, three wings in general. And there we go. We've got a flying aeroplane. And just like that, we've reached 8,500 feet. Let's not talk about the realism or anything of this, because it's not really realistic. And we still, you know, we haven't even added a cockpit into this, which is interesting. But let's maybe come in for a bit of a landing right here. Yes, a kind of a premiere, a butter landing in the Swiss 011. No, yes, okay, the landing gear might be a little bit um, weird. I didn't know how to mirror the main, right, <laughs> the right main landing gear, as you can see. But that's just great. Let's come in for a bit of a landing right here. Runway's coming up. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I didn't do that much of a better landing in the F-14 either. Yeah, with this Xbox, I really, I really cannot fly at all. Good! You know, what is up with here with this cockpit interior? We can seriously buy, actually get some crazy stuff right here. How about we add a little bit of a pilot seat on top of the aeroplane? Here we go, just like that. Modern joystick, can we just add that in? Perfect. And, uh, that is probably a, a very smart idea right here, you know, with this little pilot seat. Let's see how it flies now. You know what? Maybe a little bit of an outdoors kind of cockpit. You know what I mean? Kind of like one of those Chinese airlines. Ah! Okay, we've died. Several times now. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Now, after this a very ugly, um, amateur, simple planes building, we should probably try some more professional aircraft. I mean, there literally are thousands here on Steam to download. What is, like, the highest rated one, like, ever? Get a literal bird? What the hell? I don't even know, I don't know what that is. Oh, an SR-71, let's go! Okay, SR-71, let's see how well it flies. Alrighty! You know what the cool thing about this flight terminal also is that you literally have no waiting times. Also, the game itself is like 200 megabytes. That's just great to see. But this plane is fast. <laughs> Very fast. 1,000 miles per hour. And look at that damn rudder realism. Yeah. I think if you were to call this simulator a realistic simulator, then that, that would definitely be a disgrace to literally every single simulator out there. It's great. There's also this model here to be downloaded. Replica of the 737. Hope you like it anyway, and may the lords of hard landings bless you. Alright, you too. Let's try this. Oh yeah, what a dream. I, I cannot even imagine how hard this would be to build. I mean, you know, considering... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the livery. Looks really nice. And then considering what I did there with... <clears throat> Never mind. Alrighty, let's just see then. How does this fly? Let's go. Yes. Can we hop into, like, some sort of cockpit? We can, but it doesn't really look good. <laughs> yeah, great. And it kind of sounds like a propeller aeroplane. That's interesting as well. But everybody, it is time to take off now because we've got some hard landings to do here in this Ryan airplane. Look at that. And you know what? It doesn't even fly that badly. Right. It's quite good. Let's move to also, you know. Oh my God. All right, that's been some preparation for that landing gear. Jesus Christ. What the hell just exploded here? Was that one of the engines? All right, come on. Let's go ahead and actually turn around and come in for this airport again. See how that's going to work. And look, you guys, we've got some wing flakes. Can you see that? So yes, when we actually do a hard landing, we can actually see it. And that's, uh, I guess, something. Oh God, ocean. 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 Ah, no, that's not crash. Why are we crashing into the ocean? This place, this place, nothing like a real plane ever has flown. Whoops. And oh. Oh, damn! I guess Ryaner's planes are hydrophobic after all. What the hell was that? <laughs> all right, welcome back to Magic 001. Maybe that little explosion did break it after all. Okay, come on. Oh, my God. Multiple parts damage. Come on, still fly. Come on. You have got a big mountain in front of you. Okay, that's dead, dead. Yes. Oh, damn. All right, so maybe try this again right here. Yeah, though, this is just, you know, a normal Ryaner flight indeed. Ryaner simulator, I guess. Come on, here we go. Already get, get, you know, getting the landing gear warmed up right there with those touchdowns and be able to hard, hard, oh yeah, that's what I want. So yes, everybody, that's just simple planes after not playing it for three years. This is, by the way, now the 797, I think. An interesting, um, well, flying wing aircraft. Talked about this with of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 a while ago. Look at that. That is like the cool thing about, you know, giving your players the opportunity to easily, you know, build their own aircraft. It's that you can, oh my god, have very, have nice creations. Oh, Jesus Christ, we blew, I think, the nose landing gear up. Oh my god. All right, we've just died. Right there, boom. Oh my god. That's quite a lot of damage right here. Great, so yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Oh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, Producers are One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.